I think the main piece that we're missing today is venture investment. So Bangladesh is one of the last digital frontiers. I truly believe that. And because of the macro tailwinds, we will eventually create commercial outcomes from these social initiatives. And specifically around education, we have a real, real opportunity because this is an inevitability. And we can't solve for the demand supply mismatch without edtech. But if all four of those elements come together and we create a symbiotic relationship, this is the perfect time. No time has been better. At one side, you have technology and artificial intelligence really accelerating everything that we've done before. On the other side, we have a reform agenda, thinking about the future, about the youth, about the economy. And if you bring those two together, we can really leapfrog traditional development cycles. We can shortcut the system, rewrite the books, and actually create an education system that empowers the youth, but not just empowers them, it allows them to be part of the modern economy in the future. So my final point, and this is, I promise, the final point, is that edtech companies and edtech industry in Bangladesh has to stand on the shoulders of giants before us. We need the support, we need the ecosystem, because if we can come together, now is the perfect time that we can create more alamins who can dream bigger, dream bolder, and by doing so, we can create a future that is economically prosperous, but a Bangladesh that we've all dreamt of. Thank you.